Today on Mo's Toy Room, we're gonna unbox a eBay mail call. Hey everyone, welcome to Mo's Toy Room, and today we're gonna unbox an eBay mail call. So you know what, let's just get right to it. I had to take the label off. You can see where it's all messed up right there because I don't need no addresses getting out there. Um, but hey, let's get on with this video and let's do this. All right. I have a real strong feeling as to what this is. Um, I think I got a really, really good deal on it. If it's what I think it is, I'll let you guys know the price. Let me know what you think. It's a little bit of an older item, but I'm getting all up into that superhero craze thing uh, with the DC stuff, so I kind of like it. Let me just see if that's it, because I've been splitting up a lot of my cash through Star Wars and and um, the DC uh, multiverse figures, and also a lot of the Spawn figures and Lady Death and stuff like that. Uh, I've been buying a lot of comics too lately. I don't know what, what, the, what it is, but... Yeah, it is. It is, folks. It's a DC figure. Well, the reason why I got this is because I got a really, really good deal on it. Let me pull it out of this well-packed... Somebody... Man, I, lo I love people that run eBay stores that absolutely know what they're doing. You know, I thought for sure for the price that I paid for this... I thought for sure it was going to come like in a mailer or something and get all smashed up in my mail. But hey everyone, check that out. Let me know what you think. I know it's a bit of an older item. I, you know, I would have liked the Jason Momoa one. Um, but this, I believe this eBay or I think wanted either $18.99 or $19.99 for this with free shipping or best offer. So I offered him $15.99 and he took it like right away. So, um, I don't know if he was sitting on it for a while, but I, I mean, I'm impressed. I mean, I like it a lot. You can see some of the guys on the back. I think he's really cool because the DC Multiverse has it, um, with the McFarlane Toys, they haven't released an Aquaman yet. So I wanted to get one to put behind with some of my guys back here. But um, I don't know if I should open this from the bottom or if I should open it from the top. My, inst my instinct and intuition says let's do it from the bottom. I like him because he looks a little old school. I remember when I was a kid and I had that real old one that had like the real clothes and stuff on. And when the clothes came off, they um, had like some wrestling trunks underneath, you know. So what I would do is, and they brung boots and stuff, so... I would remove their clothes and use the wrestling trunks and put the boots back on them and make like knee pads because wrestling figures weren't out at those times in the 70s. Well, early, early 70s. And so I would make my own. So like Spider-Man had a mask, you know, and stuff. And it was really cool. I liked it. So, oh, this guy is nice. He's heckin' nice. All right, not much to the backer card. He didn't bring a stand, but I'm not complaining. $15.99, this guy is looking sweet. So let me see if I can review this guy really quick for you. So far, so good, folks. Uh, this one, let me point out that this is from DC Collectibles. DC Collectibles, uh, right there, is the manufacturer of this one. Wow, this figure does look nice. I don't know if it's going to have all the articulation that the ones behind me have. But it is really cool looking. Okay, let me free this guy from his plastic prison. Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh. Look at this. Man, they really got this guy just taped down. All right. Cut away from. Come on, dude. There you go. Oh, wow. All right. This is. Sorry, folks, if you hear a little, like, little whiny noise in the back, it's a fan because it's another hot day here in Northern California. Beautiful Northern California. Wow. 
look at this. This guy has like a real chain and stuff. I mean, it's like hooked up to his to his thing. I mean, he is just made to look impressive. Let me put see if this will go up in his hand. Which hand is it going? Oh yeah, this this guy looks cool. There you go. Let me pick up his head. Oh, he looks really nice. Yeah, I'm going to have to review him like this because this chain, it looks like it's just automatically connected to him. Check that out right there. And it's like a real chain. Like literally, I would have loved if they would, if they would have made his uh, little staff here. Um, if there's another name for this, you guys can... Please comment that in the bottom. I remember watching the Aquaman with Jason Momoa, and I just don't remember the real name of this. But anyway, I'm going to try to review this with, with his staff thing in his hand. He also has like some warrior beads or something around his neck. Look at, look at that. Man, these guys did a really good job. I might have to go back on eBay and order some more stuff from this guy. All right. So anyway, the head moves down. That's about as far up. Spins all the way around. Can somebody please call Father Karras? Because he needs to do an exorcism. The head just went all the way around because you guys have to see it. You know, it's not like if we're going to display this guy with his head written down. But anyway, his arm goes. Oh, yeah. Real good arm bend. Look at that. Way past 90. Bends right there. Look at that. Right there at the bicep. Does he, uh, does he, I don't want to break him. He's not double jointed elbow. He got a single joint and he does not have a ball joint on the hand. Looks really cool. Let's do the other arm right here. Goes, yeah, about 90 right there. There you go. The Hulkster pose right there, you know, bends right there at the bicep. Oh, this arm does it real good. He's like, oh, I am Aquaman. All right. So let's see what he does at the waist. He has, does he have anything at the waist? Nothing. Nothing on his torso works. Well, bends. But he does. I do like the way that they blended his pants in. Look at that. I didn't think that this piece moved, but it does. Like literally, it looks like one just solid piece. Look, right leg up. Doesn't really do much. Has a single jointed knee right there. But this figure, I'm, I'm liking this. Left leg. It's simple yet elegant. It's going to look really, really nice with these guys behind me. And um, there you have it. He has his little fins on the back of his back of his stuff. All right. So. I would put my background behind him, but it looks like that stuff got put away because we're straightening things out to start doing some Star Wars filming in my downstairs location where I got a lot of my vintage, like old, old stuff. You see a few stuff behind me here, but that's because my other display cases haven't came in yet. So those the display cases that I have downstairs of my original Star Wars, a lot of it is, is up, blah, 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 pardon me. Um, a lot of it is up. So look forward to those videos if you're a big Star Wars fan because there is, I don't think that there's anything that I'm missing from 1977, 78 through 85, 84, that era right there. Um, I don't think that there's really much that I'm missing. I have all the play sets, all the figures, um, have a few prototypes. So be on the lookout for those uh, videos if you are a Star Wars person and subscribe to this channel now for that way you don't forget but anyway today's video was about Aquaman himself he has that old school look um, with his warrior beads and he looks really cool and got a real chain um, I am completely impressed and if the eBayer that sold this to me uh, is saying hey I sent that to him you know I'm glad that it's going to a good home you bet it is buddy and or gal and uh, thank you very much. And I would, I'm would i going to look through your stuff again and see what else you have. Um, because I am very impressed with this guy. He looks really cool. And you guys did an excellent job on packaging 
uh, my item for me and it came fairly fast. Uh, anyway, hey folks, if you like this video, please do subscribe so that we can get further videos and further notifications. Hit that notification button also. And you can hit the like button and please follow us on Instagram at Mo's Toys. It's M-O-E-S-T-O-Y-S, Mo's Toys. And thanks for tuning into this video and see you later, folks.